Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Crash Conroe. Today I thought we would have a little preview of the course that will be hosting the Open in TGC Tours Platinum next week. Uh, this is kind of a, for the benefit of everyone just to see how difficult this course is going to be. And also for myself just to get a little bit of practice in a course because I do want to do well for this tournament. So the tees, there aren't really any front long and back tees, you know, like they're all different distances. So we'll be playing across all three. For round one, we're on the blue tee, so I'm going to keep that on. Pin one, of course. And I'm not sure if the conditions for every single round, like specifically, but the wind is always going to be high at the very least. It's either going to be high or very high for every round. We know that for certain because I've looked at the uh, the conditions report for next week. And the fairways are either going to be firm or very firm every single week. So uh, yeah, the green speeds will either be default, which is quite fast already, or very fast. So yeah, always going to be fast green speeds, which I like. I prefer fast green speeds. Uh, the green firmness is going to be a bit all over the place. Sometimes it'll be a bit softer. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get into this. This is Shoreditch Links Tour by Matty from Canada. Now, I probably should have checked this before going into this, but I think we've played this course before, just not this variation. I think this version is new because barely anyone has played it. And I think it may have been, you know, upgraded, updated for this uh, major. Maybe in some previous games we played it, you know, like 2K21, maybe not 2K23. But I gave the course a little check earlier and it seemed kind of familiar, so... Yeah, not too sure. But either way, this is going to be the open course. And I'm not going to spend too long doing this. We're just going to get an idea of what the course is going to play like. We've got some nice galleries this time. I feel like the last two or three tournaments haven't had a crowd. But of course, it is the major. So quite fitting that we will this week. So we're going to tee off straight away. And of course, if you like this idea, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am a Platinum player. I am near the bottom of Platinum almost every week at the moment. I'm not on form. I haven't made the cut in any of the majors yet this season. And this is the final one. So I would quite like to make the cut here, which will be tough. I need to score much better than I have been. So pin one on hole one is quite hard, quite difficult already. We just need to make sure we get it up there without going too far. Is the slow going to cost us or is that going to get a nice bounce here? Does. Is it going to sit there or does it roll back? Okay, it sits there. Not bad. Of course, most of the parts are going to have some break in it. 117 speed though, so you know, it doesn't break too much. This should break pretty hard at the hole. It's actually going to turn away. It, it, um, it broke on the way to the hole more than I expected it to. But yeah, you can expect to see a lot of very small landing zones on these greens. For sure, it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the scores are like. And this is an interesting one as well. It's kind of between clubs. I don't know if a three wood gets up there, but I'd rather be low than past this with a driver. So I am going to three wood this. A good swing, it just needs to get up. It's carrying quite well. This is the slope, it just needs to get up there. It needs to carry that momentum through, and it's not going to. Well, with my three wood, then I think I might have to overpower it to make sure it gets up there with this wind. I've put the I, I can't remember what wind direction I made this, but the wind direction is going to be changing during the tournament anyway, and uh, we don't know what round one is uh, before playing the tournament for real, so. Yeah, I'm going to aim this putt all the way out here. Now, a problem for me in rounds one and two of this week in Platinum is that I've been hitting too many putts short, like way too many. But the green speed on Platinum in this week's tournament are quite slow, so that might be affecting it as well. I'm more familiar with the green speeds at, you know, this kind of speed. I'm more familiar with how the ball rolls. Okay, we have a very narrow fairway again that curls to the left. I'm going to try and just fade the ball round. Is it going to clear the bunker? Yes, it is. Wind's helping. And that's a pretty good shot. Once again, we're in the fairway. Can we start scoring finally? Look at this again. Tiny, I, tiny place where the ball is, you know, ideal. 
I don't think it's going to break quite as much if I miss left, so I do want to kind of aim this over here. All right, it's a good swing. Hopefully it gets up and doesn't bounce too far away. Oh, look at that. See, there's just no... There's no, like, pathway to the pin, really. Like, you have to play, you have to carry it that short so that it doesn't roll miles past the pin, but then it kicks off that slope. Yeah, lots of big decisions to be made on this course, and of course the putter is going to be on... need to be on fire, you know? You need to have a hot putter for this. I think I've hit that too short, and I've pushed it massively. Okay, it might have been because of the push that I missed. That was not a good swing plane. Okay, so we're even 3-3. But the cut line for this one is going to be the top 50, and there must be at least 150 players in Platinum at the moment. Plus you've got the qualifiers as well, so it's going to be a really big field and only top 50 making the cut. I will say personally for me, the last two tournaments, I've been doing rounds one and two in one video. I'm not going to do that for the major, I've decided. I am going to make them separate videos. Because uh, I might not make the cut, and if I don't make the cut, I'm not going to play rounds three and four. But look at this again. Just look at that pin. No room for error. I've hit a slight fast, but I have got the pull, and it looks pretty good, you know. It looks pretty good on distance. Thankfully, it holds. Not too much of a part. Not too much break, I mean. Is it going to hold the line? Yes, it is. Just as well, because that had some pace on it. Okay, so we are off the mark. Decision to be made on this one, because if you drive it, you're probably going to be in the rough. And you've just got to decide if you can take on that second shot from the rough. But this... Oh, that was a bit fast. But for this round, I'm not going to. That's going to be fine. That's still going to be in the fairway. Because from here, we're just going to have a wedge shot. Nice and simple. And I think it's going to be a wedge shot, you know. Lob wedge, I mean. Because it should bounce hard forward on this. On the fairway just before the green. But then it needs to just sit straight away. Come on, I'll put spin on it. It doesn't sit. Wow. So I, I mean, I guess the, I guess the bounce just cancels out any backspin I put on it. Then is that is that the case there? Because if so, then I don't know what you're supposed to do on this hole. <laughs> I guess just carry it a bit more forward than I did. Oh, good chip though. I put backspin on it again, and that's actually stopped it from going in. Yeah, the lob wedge shot, I was on a steep uphill slope and I put like max backspin on it almost and it still just takes that big bounce forward and doesn't stop up at all. I'm seeing a lot of slopes on this fairway. Is it going to hold on or is it going to bounce hard to the right? Yeah, we're, we're not on very firm fairways right now, but if the fairways are going to be very firm, it's going to be very difficult to manage these fairways. That one almost went in the rough still. All right, uphill green all the way. So I don't really want to be long here. I think it's a bit of a partial five because the wind is still going to carry it forward. Just give me a nice putt below the hole and I'll take it. it. Needs to slow down, but it's an uphill slope all the way. I'm sure that's going to slow down. Yeah, okay. Wow. Wow. Well, there you go. There you go. That is the major course for you. Missing left is not the one. You want to aim it to the right on that li on that uh, approach. Anything to the left is gone. Does that have the run out? It's missing to the right anyway. Wow. Well, I'm glad. I'm a bit glad we're doing the preview now before I uh, take this course on proper in the tournament. And again, this pin is tucked away. I'm going to try and play this one into the wind with a 9-iron. Nine -nine. Right, just hoping for that ball to slow down. Not too short, though. I could have hit that full. And again, it's just going to roll away. Again, it's just going to roll away from this pin. I don't know what the scores are going to be, but I would fully expect them to come down compared to previous weeks. 
Of course, it is a major course, so that is what you want. If you're an organizer. Ball's coming back. It just doesn't come back or it comes back too much. And we've missed the par putt as well. Look at that. Look at the ball. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, you really... I feel like you have to go pin-seeking a lot on a lot of these. There's just not... There's not a good space to miss. You know, there could be really bad spots to miss. Like on that par three, if I miss to the right and it lands in the rough, that's a bogey because that ball is just not stopping on the way down. Right, this is a full length par five. Can't reach this. So we're going to have some kind of wedge to this one. 20 feet up. That wedge should be long enough. Not sure, but the wind has died down a little bit, so... I'm on a downhill slope as well. Definitely enough. Too much, even. Is that going to come back, or is that going to sit there? It does start to come back a little bit. Alright, can we make up for that bogey straight away? Yes, we can. Good read. Good read, and we go back to one under straight away. Now for a par three, where the best landing zone, I guess, is just on the fairway in front of the green. So this, again, is going to be quite a tough shot. I think six iron will get there. It's going to be close. That might be a bit too fast, though. Actually, that's holding on. That's not going too far right. That should start to go left now. Okay, it still rolls away. It just caught that hill a little bit too much, but that's not bad. This is for back-to-back -back birdies on this course. And we get it. It just holds on. And yeah, as I said, the putter does have to be on fire. Is it me or is the the part where it says the stroke count on that scorecard all the way to the right for some reason? It looked like it should be in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, long par four. I feel like you just have to take this on, really. It's so long. That's too slow, though. Like, if you're three with it, you're not going to make the green anyway. That would have been okay if I didn't hit that massive slow, but I have no doubt that's going to roll into the rough. Oh, no, it holds on. Okay. Well, just as well, because this is a really long hole. Three iron, 13, 13 yards past. Does the wind kill that? I think I'm still going to hit a three. I don't really want to risk a three wood. Good swing. I put some D-loft on it. It's just staying a little bit to the left. Didn't quite judge that right with the uh, left pull that I give the ball naturally. Hey, what though? I've not left it in too bad a spot. Just really got to be careful of the pace. Five inches down. And when it's five inches down and the green speeds are as fast as this, you really do have to be careful with the speed. It, it's not really breaking back, is it? It's very slightly breaking back at the end. But I think this is going to gain so much pace near the start of this part. It's not actually going to break back too much. There you go, it's going to pick up pace. Now I've been way too light with that. Way too light. A bit too cautious. Didn't really pick up pace, did it? <laughs> yeah, five inches down, but it wasn't going down any really strong slope. So yeah, overplayed that a little bit. And once again, going to be in the fairway. Yeah, the very high wind speed rounds will be interesting, for sure. Maybe I should have put it on very high for the for the preview. Just for some fun. <laughs> Thing is, we don't know how many rounds are going to be high and how many rounds are going to be very high. All the, rep the report only tells you, you know, what ones you will get. It doesn't tell you how many of each. But that's a good birdie there. At Shoreditch. We're only 3 under through 11. Okay. I actually feel like the fairways 
haven't been as unforgiving as I expected them to be so far. I don't know. Maybe I've just been hitting good drives in the good places, but... I feel like I haven't been screwed over so much, you know? I think this is a full pitching wedge. It's staying to the right. It's probably going to bounce out, but it's probably going to go all the way across now after that. Oh, so so that one actually caught that. You see, like that one did actually still spin backwards. Okay, I mean, it still goes off to the right because it was just too much momentum. All right, chip off the green. Oh, I'll put backspin on it again. I'm, I may be uh, putting a bit too much backspin on some of these chips because that's the second one that may have gone in if I didn't put that much backspin on it. This is an interesting par 5. I mean, if you drive it down here, it's not going to hold onto the fairway, I don't think. Is this downhill, though? This is absolutely downhill, so if you hit this in a good place, it might bounce on the rough and then get out. That's what I'm going for here. And the only problem is I haven't aimed it. No, I didn't aim that far enough to the right. I needed to aim that more right if I was going to do that. So we can't go for this now. And to be honest, it wasn't reachable anyway. So it's not the end of the world. It just means I'm going to have a longer third shot in. Well, he's not happy with it, my 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 guy, but uh, I don't know what else you could have done from there. All right, well, you don't really want to get on these slopes because that's just going to send the ball flying forward. I think a iron will be okay, though. I think we could go pin-seeking with this one. We continue to go left. I was on a left-facing slope, and I just wasn't sure how much that was going to catch it. I'm pretty sure that goes left there, though, right? Oh, no, it goes right, actually. <laughs> okay. All right, well, this is for birdie on this par 5. Have to give it a little tap down the hill. And it's a good putt again. All right, the putt is pretty good this round. I know we're only four under, but we've sunk a few good ones here. As we move to hole 14 of the major course. Pin for round one right in the middle. Once again, I'm just going to go for it. Swinging is pretty good right now. That just needs to keep going right. Don't disappear to the left, please. Oh, don't disappear past the pin either. Ugh. It took a soft, it looked like a soft bounce and then it just kept going. Okay, it does come back a little bit. Not a bad place to leave it. This green is all over the place. That that line directly in front of me, that is not turning left. That is turning to the right. I can see that. I don't even have to worm cam to see that. And that is a good read. And that is what you're going to need to do at Shoreditch. You're going to have to watch out for those grid lines. Don't just listen to the beads. Most of the time, they've been okay. I feel like there haven't been too many... Uh, Shitty grid lines so far in this round at least. That might bounce into the rough from there. Yep. Wasn't careful enough there. That's not me getting screwed over. That's me being, you know, not thinking about where I am. Yeah, this hole. I This hole feels really familiar. I do think this was used on previous games. I'm pretty sure. Someone can definitely confirm that for me. But I, I very, like this hole in particular, I, I remember the second shot kind of going over a mound towards the green on this par 5. Okay, this is actually the last par 5 as well. Some of these can definitely are definitely going to be reachable for like some of the rounds. This one may have been reachable if I wasn't in the rough. And with the pitching wedge. And again, I've got the slope that the ball was on. A little bit wrong. Unless that goes to the right, it could do. There are slopes there. No. I've been left at the top of one, haven't I? Yeah, look at that. I'm right at the top of one. I think that's the biggest thing I've been getting wrong in this preview round. Just the slope that the ball is on. I'm massively overestimating it. And that's why I'm being left with awkward putts like this sometimes. 
And I'm just hoping that stays on the green, really. No, nope, it's not going to. And that is the danger. That is what you're left with. Being down there for the fourth shot is better than being where I was, for sure. But it is a bogey, unfortunately, on that par 5. As we move to another very narrow green on a par 3. Sandwich is way too short. I've got to play a gap wedge here. Max backspin. We have to do max backspin here just to try and make it stop. Ah, that's a big fast, though. That is not going to hold on. Probably the worst tempo so far today. I think it's generally been good. But now we've got a really tough shot. Because if, if this is long at all, it's just going to roll down. It's not where you want to be. Well, how about we just get the best chipping of all time? <laughs> Incredible chipping from there. We get the shot back straight away after that par 5. Great chip. Really happy with that one. Okay. <clears throat> Two holes to go. So this video will be going up on Thursday as well. Friday or Saturday, I'll put up the other two rounds of this week's Plat Tournament. Uh, yeah, as I said, I'm not doing well. Oh, man. Swings left me at the end here. <laughs> yeah, these bunkers. You need to avoid these, man. I've been in three of these now. Okay, we can't go for this possible yeah i'm not doing well i could well be on for two more demo marks which would put me on four which means i just about am able to play in this major anyway <laughs> thankfully i didn't get any demos last week so on this one there's a really steep hill about where this ball is landing so this i'm still expecting this to get down there fully yeah, if you're anywhere on the other side of that hill, you're fine. You don't have to take this on too much, but you do want to make sure you get there at the very least. All right, final hole. Long par five. Par four, I mean. And I've not pulled that at all like I'm supposed to. We get away with it. But at least on the last, we are going to have a shot of this, which is just as well, because look at this pin. <laughs> horrible, horrible pin. It's a big fast. The wind is fully stopping that up anyway. That is going to disappear to the right. Did I really have to take out a three wood to make that? That is insane. All right, let's see if I can get another good chip in though. Eh? Nowhere near. I thought it was going to bounce to the left, but it didn't. Just bounce straight on. And we're going to tap in for par at the last 65 with a couple of silly bogeys. If we take that out, it's a 7 under. And that, you never know, that might be okay. That might be okay. The scores might really come down. I don't think it's as difficult as the US Open course. So it'll be interesting. The, the cut for the US Open course was like 6 under. It was crazy. Like, that must be the worst cut line we've ever had on plat. And I think this one is a little bit nicer than that, based on how I've just played. Because I'm not good at the game, and I just got five under. So yeah. So yeah. But that is what us Platinum players and uh, and the qualifiers from the other tours will be facing next week. That is Shoreditch Links Tour. Uh, from the blue tees, pin one. So that is the tees and the pins that we'll be playing in round one, of course. But uh, yeah, the conditions are a little bit up in the air. I'm not sure how specific it is going to be. But yeah, should be a good one. And personally, I'm just I'm just really hoping to make the cut. I don't really care beyond that. I just want to make the cut in a major for this year before we close out the season and potentially move on to a new game for the next one. I know we've heard nothing yet, but if it's anything like the timing for the previous game, you know, this game, it's going to be very soon that we hear something, but it's not sure. Not sure if it's happening, <laughs> but we will probably find out very soon if it is. But yeah, remember to leave a like on the video, guys, if you enjoyed that. And subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, look out for more TGC Tours footage from me. And the Happy Gilmore Career Mode in EA Sports PGA Tour as well. That one's been a lot of fun. I'm enjoying that very much. But yeah, until the next time, guys, thanks very much for watching.